three months into being a full-time head coach, or a full-time coach, excuse me, what have you learned over those three months that tells you you want to keep doing this? A lot. Uh, you know, I would say, uh, I think I've learned a lot. I think I always knew I'd want to keep doing it uh, prior to the opportunity, but uh, just the, uh, the chemistry and relationship I built, I think is, it was different as an assistant versus being kind of the guy. That was. So, um, I, I was building a relationship early on, uh, but it went to another level and I had more of a, uh, a direct leadership role in the room. And, uh, I was pretty uh, caught off guard with probably how connected I became with the players, and I think vice versa. How, how much of a just baptism of fire was it for you from going to one day? Doing what you were doing, to suddenly being an assistant. If you follow my drill, yeah, I do. Is uh, you know, it was there was a lot of uh, things I had to have ready in a hurry. You know, just you know, more logistically, you know, from um, you know, an install standpoint to a first meeting standpoint to how am I gonna you know communicate corrections and, and how am I gonna make corrections? I mean, there's a lot of logistics that go into it that you never really uh, accounted for. So I had to do that in a hurry, uh, but uh, I had some great help around me. And uh, I went pretty smooth with it, so I can't, uh, I can't complain. I would definitely say uh, meeting one compared to, compared to meeting 30 was a, a pretty stellar difference. So, uh, but it was a great uh, opportunity, and uh, again, I was surrounded by a lot of good people. What was that like in meeting one? Uh, it was great. It was just, you know, again, I think the biggest thing is I wasn't the first time walking in the building. You know, being there uh, for a year and then having. One, the great leadership of the older guys, and two, having that uh, chemistry and relationship built already, it was just a little non-formal, you know? It was just like, hey, this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna be a team, we're gonna circle the wagons, and uh, we're in it together. And then I kind of went from there, but uh, uh, again, as a coach, a player to coach, you're still nervous for that first time, taking over a room, and uh, um, the nerves have subsided since then. Thank you. Uh, yeah, quick but, follow up. Um, Urban Meyer's always talking about how he's evaluating things every single day. Right. And I know that you're growing and you're in your first year doing this, but do you feel like you are trying like in a tryout situation? Uh, somewhat. Does that make sense? I think, though, I think these guys, these guys will tell you the same thing. We kind of earn our badges and we earn our uh, titles daily. So whether you're a player or whether you're a coach, I think you're always trying to justify uh, your position or trying to justify a greater position. So uh, to me, I always had that approach as a player. I think these guys have that, that, that approach as players. The first, first thing is of wanting to get better and enhance and, and really you know, study the game. That's why we've had some improvements. And, and obviously Coach Day and the quarterbacks playing well and, and the O-line playing well, all of this goes into it. But from a, a, uh, an individual room standpoint, they're complete with my ch their chest open and communicate with me and want to get better. And it's been you know, something that's very, very humbling. So, um, no, it, it could not have been uh, any kind of a transition like it was and it wasn't for those men. Is there anything specifically new or different that you've tried to bring to those wide receivers and to this coaching staff? No, I think just like anything, you can do, you know, a lot of the same drills all the time, but maybe you just have a different viewpoint on it and a different, uh, you know, emphasis, a different uh, point of emphasis. And, and that's all. And really, you know, a lot of times it's just, you know, the desire both from the coach and, and the players is just never good enough. We're always trying to get better. And if you really think that way, it's uncomfortable, but uh, you know, we believe that here. And even from Coach Meyer challenging, you know, why you do drills and, and why this week and why, you know. And so I do the same thing to myself and also to the players. And, and again, the focus has always been never to attack an action or never to attack uh, a result, but always attack an action because a lot of times just the mindset was wrong. And we'll switch the mindset and all of a sudden the, act, the, uh, the end result is what you need. So um, a lot of great communication, a lot of great young men in that room, and I'm blessed to be part of it.